Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. Today we have one here from Corgi, of course, in 172nd scale diecast. It is a Westland Lynx. Now these were a uh, British multi-purpose helicopter that was built by Westland Helicopters, of course, and it first entered service uh, in 1977 uh, with the British military and was actually used by um, over a dozen other nations as well. It was used as a utility, anti-armour, which this particular one is, um, anti-submarine and search and rescue duties as well, with around 450 helicopters of all variants would be built um, though some nations are phasing these out for uh, more newer aircraft, a lot still remain in service today. And speaking of service, this particular one is from the British Army Air Corps. So this is from the 9th Regiment and 16th Air Assault Brigade from around uh, 2008, as you can see. And what we'll do is we'll uh, stop looking at this box and we'll get this uh, helicopter out and have a real good look at it. So here it is out of the box. As per usual with Corgis, they do come with a little collector card because these are a limited run, of course. And if I can hold it the right way, there is only a limited edition of 3,000 models uh, worldwide. So if you want to get this particular aircraft here, um, you have only 3,000 to choose from. And um, it does look nice. It is brand new. I scored this off a lady on, not eBay, but Facebook, of course, um, for 30 bucks. So that was a, looks brand new in the box. Um, it does, with these helicopters, as it says there, they do... Um, they are affixed to this base with that little screw, so we do have to uh, take that screw out before we can actually get that helicopter out of the packet. So what we'll do is we'll uh, quickly do that off camera, of course, and I don't want to put you through that pain, so we'll be back right in a second. So this is the base that you remove from underneath the packet, and once this is out, uh, you should be able to get this helicopter out, which we should hopefully be able to do. And um, I'll show you the stand quickly, of course, so we'll just quickly grab that out. And it is the traditional corgi stand. This part is metal, of course, and this part is plastic. So you just you know, whack that together and it's ready to go. And uh, we will try and get this little links out. And we'll move the box out of the way. And we'll have a little look at the uh, the little links here first before we put some rotor blades on, of course. Oh, wow, this looks really nice. Um, the quality of this is quite good. That is fantastic. Wow. That looks really nice. We'll have a look at some details here. We'll run down here. Wow, that looks really cool. For a little chopper, the details on this are fantastic. You can see the uh, tow missiles on the side for the anti-tank duties, of course. That looks bonkers. <laughs> I am assuming this door can probably close if my sausage fingers do allow. It does, yes. So you can open, open and close that. There is a little bit of detail in there, as you can just see. It is pretty, pretty hard. It does look like there's some pilot figures in there. Um, there is, there is two little pilot figures in there, which is pretty cool. Corgi quite often uh, do do provide you with pilot figures in their aircraft, and we'll try not to break anything. We'll swing it around this way. It it is not the biggest helicopter, as you can see by my hands here. So I've got to be a little bit delicate because I do have a habit of breaking things with my sausage fingers and my uh, ogre hands. So. But this is absolutely gorgeous, this aircraft. The uh, green and grey, uh, very, very common colour schemes that the British were using. It does come up beautiful. I think this is really nice. The uh, tail rotor does spin. It is a fixed, as you can obviously see, it does spin freely. Well, sort of turn it underneath. There's going to be a little bit of, uh, as you can see underneath there, that big hole there is where it was um, affixed to the packet. So I'm not sure if that is going to have a, I would assume most likely there maybe is a plate to cover that because that is a little bit ugly, but we will, we will have a look in the little packets. Obviously it might be contained in the packet where the rotor, rotor blades are in, um, I'm hoping, but we'll have a little look at that. Well, what we'll do is, speaking of rotor blades, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll put this together and uh, make this a proper helicopter and we'll be right back in a second. What I'll quickly show you here, it does come with the block off plate if you don't want to display it on the stand, or you insert that if you do plan to display your helicopter on the stand. And these are the four rotor blades that do come with it. It has got some great detail on there. That is really nice. And uh, they look really cool. So let's fix those blades onto this chopper and come right back. So here we have the links all um, all chopped out. <laughs> well, the blades are on nicely and it does, it does spin very good as well. And... Uh, I think this is a great rendition of a of a, a Westland Lynx. It does come up really nice. Those tow missiles do look really good. The camouflage scheme is applied really nice. 
and I think overall this is really fantastic. You can see some really nice detail. The rotor blades went on relatively easily, um, even for my fat ass fingers, of course, and uh, it wasn't too much of a drama. And I reckon it does um, does set up nicely. And um, if you want to display it on the stand, of course, what I'll do is I'll just put this down here for a second. So this is the stand, and that's the the section that goes in underneath the chopper. Now, if you turn it that way, the chopper will be sort of more level. And if you turn it this way, the uh, the links will be sort of directed up as well. So you've got, I suppose, um, you can display it with the, the two different options. And of course, it's just chucked in that hole like that. We'll, we'll have it flying up, getting some altitude. And um, that's as it sits like that. And I reckon it is another really cool looking unit by Corgi, of course. And of course, don't take my word for it. It is up to you. That's the purpose of these videos. If you like it like I do, uh, you can throw us a little bit of a like. That'd be awesome. And of course, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, you can check out some more diecast videos we will be doing and even my past ones. And you can have a bit of a chuckle at some of my older ones. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending the time with me as per usual watching one of our videos. So once again, this is the um, Westland Lynx. Um, from Corgi, 170 second scale. It is a limited edition with uh, 3,000 of these models made. It is XZ221 from the 9th Regiment, the 16th Air Assault Brigade from the Army Air Corps in 2008. And I do think this is a nice looking unit for sure. And what I'll do is I'll take some happy snaps of this links and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video, which is winding up now. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time once again. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. Thank <laughs> you.